Breast Cancer Action is an organization for people who want to make a difference. Over the years, along with our fearless community of activists, we've called for meaningful, often radical systemic changes in policies, practices, and institutions in order to address and end the breast cancer crisis. Breast cancer is a public health crisis that has ballooned into a bloated, multi-billion dollar industry, and it utilizes one of the most successful marketing ploys of the century. The pink ribbon is the most widely recognized symbol for breast cancer. But historically, there's been a significant lack of accountability, a glaring absence of transparency, and widespread hypocrisy in pink ribbon marketing. These problems within pink ribbon culture allow for the exploitation of breast cancer patients and a disease that devastates communities. It uses marketing that misrepresents who is affected by breast cancer and excludes and marginalizes the diverse lived experiences of those dealing with the disease. Our radical disruption takes the form of our annual Think Before You Pink campaign, launched 20 years ago as a response to the growing concern about the number of pink ribbon products on the market. From its inception, the campaign has called for transparency and accountability from companies taking part in breast cancer fundraising and awareness campaigns. We encourage consumers to ask four critical questions about pink ribbon promotions. Over the last two decades, we've had outsized wins. Breast Cancer Action. Breast Cancer Action. Organizations like Breast Cancer Action. Breast Cancer Action. Breast Cancer Action. Breast Cancer Action. We support Breast Cancer Action. And we've been critical always of egregious pink marketing schemes. We've pushed back on corporations, mega nonprofits, government leaders, and regulatory agencies that use pink ribbons and encourage empty awareness to distract from the systemic issues at the core of this crisis. In 2002, with our first ever Think Before You Pink campaign, Who's Really Cleaning Up? We pressured Eureka and American Express to stop cause marketing. We called out their ribbon promotions that did more for company profits than for the breast cancer cause. It was at that time we coined the term pinkwashing. This defines the act of a company or organization claiming to care about breast cancer by promoting a pink ribbon product while simultaneously producing, manufacturing, and or selling products containing chemicals linked to the disease. In 2008, our campaign put a lid on it, targeted General Mills, and resulted in the removal of RBGH, a synthetic growth hormone linked to breast cancer from two thirds of America's dairy products. In 2010, our members sent thousands of letters outraged at the health hypocrisy of Buckets for the Cure, a pink partnership between Kentucky Fried Chicken and Susan G. Komen. Public outcry forced an early end to their October fiasco. In 2014, in response to a partnership between Susan G. Komen and oil field services company Baker Hughes that created pink fracking drill bits for the cure, we called out the most egregious example of pink washing we had ever seen. We delivered a petition signed by over 160,000 activists demanding the nation's largest breast cancer charity break ties with the fracking industry and take a stand against this toxic process. In 2018, we called out the Ford Motor Company for driving up the risk of breast cancer by continuing to focus on and build cars that produce cancer-causing emissions, all while pinkwashing these efforts by touting their commitment to fighting breast cancer through their Warriors in Pink program. In 2020, our campaign extended beyond corporations to pink policies and called out the federal administration from the president down to agency leaders for failing to take on the breast cancer crisis. Pink policies are political pinkwashing in action. These are policies or a lack of policies that fail to protect people living with breast cancer and increase breast cancer risk for all people, especially for women, people of color, and low-income folks. And in 2021, we called out Susan G. Komen and Bank of America for their pink ribbon banking programs, credit card and debit cards. Our campaign was laser focused on its message. 
Susan G. Komen cannot continue to promote themselves as advocates for people with breast cancer while partnering with a major fossil fuel funder. Given the undeniable links between the fossil fuel continuum and breast cancer risk. So what have we learned over the last 20 years? As the first breast cancer organization to call out cause marketing, we've been on the front lines as late stage capitalism has produced a pink ribbon mega industry that has invaded the very systems that are meant to keep us safe and healthy. It has normalized the commodification of social issues that impact real lives every day. What can you do about it? Join us in calling out the bad actors who continue to spread misinformation about breast cancer, who manufacture products that actually increase a person's risk for the disease, who work to lower regulatory standards and much more, all while raising millions to feed their own bottom line. You can learn more about starting your own campaign to help disrupt deceptive cause marketing strategies. You can take action with our 2022 campaign, A Revolution, which connects the dots across decades of pink ribbon marketing. You can download our newly updated Think Before You Pink toolkit, and you can stay up to date on legislation that impacts the breast cancer community. Thank you to everyone for being part of our community of bold and compassionate breast cancer activists.